Hi, I'm Matt. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the people screen. This is your church database where you will store information on all of your people. This information can be a person's member status, home address, phone number, email, birthday, and a lot more. So I have a question for you. Have you added your people into your church database yet? If you're coming from another church software or you have a spreadsheet of your people data, our team can import that data for you. To do that, create a support ticket with our support team to get started. So I'm going to show you how to add names into the people and family screen in church track. First, select the add a name button to the right or in the actions dropdown menu, select add names slash families. Then add the person that just joined the church. To the right, there's these three little dots. If you select those three dots, it opens up a new menu where you can add even more details on this person, like their birth date, their member status, the role in the family, and also their phone number and email address and some other details as well. Now, if a family is joining your church, select the Add Another Family Member button below that first person that you just added and enter the next member of that family. I can also add more details on each of these people by selecting the three dots next to their name. But once I've added all the members of this family and all of their details, I can scroll down. I can verify their formal greeting and their informal greeting as well as their address, like their, where they live and also their phone number. Once you're done adding all of that information, select Submit. Now let's talk about editing a person's profile after you've added them into the people screen in church track. All you have to do is select their name on the left hand side of the screen, then select the edit profile button in the top right hand corner. And this is where I can add a photo for this person. I can also update their uh, phone number or their address if that ever changes or any other information that I have on file for this person. And I can do the same thing for their family section, like their address and the family phone number if that ever changes. Once I'm done, scroll all the way back to the top and select done. That's how you edit a person's profile in church track. You can change a person's family assignment in church track as well. All you have to do is select the person to the left hand side of the screen and then select the edit profile button in the top right hand corner of their profile and then scroll down until you find the change family assignment button. This is necessary if a member of your church gets married or perhaps a child in a family becomes an adult and wants to donate to the church on their own separate from their family. All I have to do is in this drop down menu, select the new family that this person will be assigned to. Or if it's a brand new family at your church, just select create a new family for this person and then select close and then select done in the top right hand corner of that person's profile. That's how you change a family assignment in church track. You can also update a member status in church track in case a guest becomes an official member at your church. All you have to do is select that person's name to the left and in the upper right hand corner, select edit profile and then scroll down until you find the member status drop down menu. If I select that, I can choose another member status to use for this person, but also I can select the edit list button to the right of the member status and customize this list. That way, if your church has a unique word or nomenclature that you use to refer to your members and your guests and your donors, you can update that and add your own. In addition to the existing fields on the people screen, you can also create and edit individual and family user defined fields for your church database. In church track, you can create an unlimited number of these custom fields. Just select the Setup tab at the top of the screen, then choose User Defined Fields in this drop-down menu. This is where you can create fields that will appear on everybody's profile on the People screen so that you can store unique information for those members. Just select the Add a New Field button in the top right-hand corner of the screen, give your field a name, then choose the type of field you want to add. Once you're done with that, select Add a Field and then you can go back into every person's profile on the people screen and fill information into that field for your members. You can do the same thing for the family section for all of your members as well. Now on the main people screen, near the middle of the screen, there's this actions drop down menu. The actions button gives you the ability to do things like delete names, archive names, bulk edit, and a lot more. 
Now, archiving is really important, and I want to point this out because you can archive as many names as you want and not be pushed into a higher price tier with your church track account because archive names do not count towards your member cap. So if you want to retain their information but still not pay a higher price with your church track account, just archive them instead of deleting them. Also, you can save yourself a lot of time and effort with the bulk edit checked names option. If I select bulk edit checked names, I can then choose to either update a field value for all the names that I've checked off. I can add a tag to their profile or remove a tag, and I can also archive all of them all at once. This will save you a lot of time when managing the people screen in your church track account. Now let's talk about tags. Tags are the foundation for organizing your people into groups, managing their needs, and tracking their attendance. A tag is like a label that you apply to a person, and you can create a tag for just about anything. Uh, I'll use Emily Baker as an example and select the Tags tab above her profile. This is where I can see everything that she's doing and how she's involved in the church. For instance, I can see that she sings on the worship team. She also volunteers in the children's ministry in a few different roles. I can see all of that at a glance by looking at her Tags tab. Now, smart lists are similar to tags, but the difference is that they enable you to see a list of names that meet a set of criteria. For example, you might create a smart list that will show you everyone who is an active member of your church. As new names are added to your church database that meets the smart list criteria, those names will automatically appear when viewing the smart list. Also, we have a messaging tab where you can send emails, voice messages, and text messages to either everyone at your church or a specific smart list so that you can send a targeted message to a particular group of people at your church. We also have form letters that you can save and an option to export all of your contact information to a MailChimp database so that you can email everybody from your MailChimp account. There are also reports built into your church track account for the people and families at your church. Just select the reports tab at the very top of the screen. There are a lot of reports ready for you to use here in your church track account, like tag reports, uh, even birthday reports. We have member directories already built into your church track account, but also you can create your own custom reports as well. That's getting started with the people screen. There were obviously some pretty big features I mentioned that I just casually mentioned, like messaging, reports, tags, and a lot more. You can learn more about these features in our online user guide. It's filled with hundreds of articles, videos, and more. We also have an awesome library of videos and previous live streams on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe. See ya.